Korea's working age population is expected to head downhill starting 2017. Now, this coupled with the fact that this nation boasts one of the world's lowest birth rates is raising red flags, uh, leading some to suggest that perhaps Korea should start opening its doors to migrants and refugees This as a way to take care of the demographic crunch. Arirang News, Kim Min-ji joins me live in the studio to discuss the implications of such a move. Min-ji, so give us the figures. How big is Korea's workforce at this point? Good evening, Kanya. Right now, there are about 37 million uh, that are the working population in Korea, and that figure is expected to peak next year and then decline thereafter. Now, in four years' time, the pace of decline will quicken, and that's when the first of the baby boomer generation is set to retire and join the country's senior population. Now, to brace for this big shift, experts are saying the country should begin relying more on foreign workers. But Korea is only partially open to this idea. Korea has been relatively inactive in terms of taking in migrants. The nation's ratio of migrants to total population was just over 0.1% in 2013, far below the OECD average of 0.6%. Out of 22 member countries surveyed, it placed 20th. The situation isn't much different when it comes to refugees, with less than 5% of those that apply granted refugee status. As the end of August, there were more than 12,000 refugees in Korea. Most of them find work in factories. Many of those who enter have a hard time finding solid work, as even if they have qualifications, they're not recognized in Korea. I'm not afraid to work in any kind of hard job, but I want it must be good benefit. So that benefit, I know he wanted to sacrifice, maybe time, maybe energy. In addition, not all who arrive have the right visas, nor are they granted refugee status right away, so many end up finding part-time work. For Korea, experts say that's a loss as the country faces a declining working age population down the road. They point out the policy should be eased to support more migrants and refugees every year. A decline in the working age population not only means a shortage in labor but also consumption size. This means Korea's potential GDP growth rate will decline. Migrants and refugees coming to the country will not only work but will also spend, which in turn can lead to job creation. Concerns linger, however, that an influx of migrants could raise negative sentiment at a time when youth unemployment is high. It's a double-edged sword, but experts say Korea needs to take interest in the matter and take a more open approach.